Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm looking at another ink from Standard Bindery. It is Stargaze. Now this is uh, their black ink um, and it is very cool. Comes in a 60ml bottle. Um, it is available through Standard Bindery as well as other retailers including Van S Pens in the US if you are looking to purchase this ink. This is the way it comes packaged. Nice, simple craft cardboard box and a very classy simple elegant label from Santa Bindery. Love their packaging. This is the bottle itself. Simple tall glass bottle, good size opening. Um, once again great logo there, uh, label, beautiful packaging, really really classy way of presenting their products. If you're not familiar with Standard Bindery, they're a, an Australian retailer. They used to be bookbinders online. They became Standard Bindery. Uh, as bookbinders online, they had a range of inks called Snake Inks, I think they were. Uh, and they were really, really great. And now this new range is beautiful. Six new inks. I've reviewed a few others already, and I'm looking at reviewing the rest of the line. And as I said, this is Stargaze. But let's look at it on some paper. So, here we have it on a piece of cardstock. Um, this cardstock gets a little bit sort of white speckled, it's not in the ink, it's just uh, this particular cardstock, but you can see a bit of that sort of sheen coming through. This ink does have a very nice red, goldy sort of sheen on it, but you know, in its dark shading, it's a lovely black and quite a decent black. Here it is on Rodeo, let's get this ball rolling. Now I have it in a Retro 51 Tornado Fountain Pen with a medium Yovo nib. This is the second generation of the um, Tornado Fountain Pen with the, uh, the, the new revised grip section and Yovo nibs. Um, really nice pen, really nice and wet, which is great. Um, so I think this is a really nice ink. I think that you can see there it looks nice and black on the page, a bit of that gold sheen popping up occasionally. It's a nice dark wet ink. Um, it's not a black black, I will stress that. It's not like um, you know, Heart of Darkness or something like that. It has a little bit more grey in it than that, but it is very very nice. Um, it, you get the grey in the shading, but it is very wet um, and it's a good smooth ink. Um, it always feels nice on the page. All these standard bindery inks do feel really nice on the page. So it's great to, uh, you know, sort of see and use them in a range of different pens. In drier pens, um, obviously you're not going to get quite that same flow, but uh, in a pen like this, for instance, which is relatively wet, you get a nice feel on the page. So let's look at it on some other paper. Um, I have it on a number of uh, different papers here. First, let's start at the top with Tomo River. So here it is on some Tomo River paper. Um, and you can see there that gold, red gold sheen, just looking fabulous, really, really wonderful. And the black does look really um, good. Camera's struggling to focus a little bit today, I'm sorry. Um, in fact, it looks very black on this page. Um, if we look at the reverse of the page, uh, you can see that uh, really nothing has come through. That's Tomo River. Uh, let's now look at it on some like plain copy paper. Um, so here it is on the standard um, reflex, uh, reflex, yes, copy paper. Um, nice sort of solid black. Not a whole lot of feathering, which is nice. Um, and on the back we see sort of, yeah, a little bit of bleed, but not much at all. But once again, not fountain pen friendly paper at all. Here it is on even a lower paper. This is the standard sort of student notepad paper. And uh, looks a little bit more gray here, but uh, it still performs relatively well. A little bit of feathering, but you know, a you know, tiny bit of bleed, but not too bad in comparison to a number of other inks. And um, you know, in an extra fine nib, you could probably get away with uh, writing with this ink. So one thing I did do, which was a little bit interesting, uh, was I hear it on some other Tomo River. This is a Elia note, notepad, a notebook, um, which is Tomo River paper. I put down a big heavy swatch to get some of that sheen happening uh, and then just uh, wrote on it with bleach. Uh, and, you know, like where we get some like thick amount of ink, the bleach, you know, sort of does struggle to eat its way through. Whereas of course, where there's less ink down, it just uh, does its usual yellowing of the, the ink as it breaks it down. 
um, but I think it looks great there, and that sheen looks, I think, really very cool. Uh, I do quite like the sheen on this ink. I don't mind a bit of a sheen on black ink, uh, because it doesn't seem to really get in the way of the colour too much, which is one of my big issues with sheen in general. Back to this Rodeo page now, and um, as you can see, it's a, uh, it's a pretty solid performer. Um, Water resistance is a little bit low, it moves a bit of the ink around, but you do still get enough of the ink there. So I would say there's a tiny bit of water resistance, and that is evident here in the um, in the swatch, which is in the um, in the chromatography, sorry. But you do get maybe a hint of that yellow and green, which is, you know, nice. Um, but you do get a little bit of the grey left behind there, so when it moves up, you do still get, you know, some of the ink left on the page, which is why we have, um, you know, some water resistance happening here on the test page as well but let's talk through these uh uh criteria and stuff sheen is I've, I've said decent it's actually quite a nice sheening ink shimmer no shading low to fair because it is a fairly sort of concentrated black you the the shading is not as pronounced you do get hints of that gray which is nice uh if that's what you're into um but you know it's not a huge huge shading ink Bleed is excellent. This is the back of the rodeo page as well, so you can see, you know, um, like it does ghost through. Um, actually, there are a couple of spots here where it's sort of eaten through, but not not really like in their everyday writing. Um, feathering is good. Wetness and flow is excellent. Con concentration, excellent. Dry time is slow. This is a wet ink. Like, we're talking 50 plus seconds on rodeo. Um, and water resistance, there is some. So like, this is like almost, I wouldn't say this is a waterproof ink um, or a permanent ink, but it does have some water resistance, which is really nice. Cleaning is fair. Uh, the other pen I had this in, which was a Twisby Eco, I think it was, um, you could see just how much it actually took to move that ink through the feed um, as it was cleaning. Now, value, $21.95 Australian and $21.95 US, so depending on where you get it, and that's for 60 mils, which isn't too bad. Some colour comparisons. So here I have the standard binary um, Stargaze, uh, next to Noodler's Heart of Darkness, uh, which you can see is just a bit blacker and is more permanent, and then Lamy Black, which I think is one of those black inks that just doesn't get enough attention, you know, and I think it's a really, really great black. Um, but this standard binary, good ink. So for score, I've given it a 4.5 out of 5. Um, I think it's a very good black option. Personal, once again, 4.5 out of 5. For a black with some character, um, I think this is really excellent. It's not the blackest ink you're going to use. It's not the most um, permanent ink you're going to use, but I think it does a pretty decent job as an everyday writing ink. So that was Standard Bindery Stargaze, a really nice uh, addition to the black ink market um, and from an Australian brand. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce and please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. Uh, you can contact me here or on Instagram or Twitter or any of those uh, which are all listed below or drop me an email. If there's products you think I should be looking at or a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your ink and I'll talk to you soon.